War movies are usually the home of bombastic action and hard-hitting drama, of brave heroics, tearful sacrifices, and catastrophic losses. And no war has been covered by the genre more, or is more well-known and soul-crushingly devastating, than World War II. As far as horror is concerned, some directors have gone the extra mile and taken the War is Hell slogan to its most literal sense, delivering loads of great genre-blending material that dives into the twisted legacies of the conflict. So, let's dive into one of my favorite genre mashups, shall we? I'm Ewan, you're watching What Culture Horror, and here are the 10 scariest horror movies set during World War II. Number 10. Heavy Metal's B-17 Heavy Metal isn't exactly a World War II flick, which you probably would guess just by looking at the poster of a sword-wielding battle maiden flying on a bug-eyed bird over a futuristic city. However, this anthology film does have a short, sweet, and pretty spooky segment set during the conflict. After a B-17 bomber takes heavy fire over the skies of Europe, leading to the death of all but two of the plane's crew, things go from bad to worse when the crew are reanimated in to flesh-eating zombies. The choppy, almost rotoscoped animation style adds to the newly returned allied pilot's creepiness, as they desperately try and escape from the clutches of their former comrades. B-17 and the rest of heavy metal doesn't shy away from the violent and gruesome imagery either. Bullets turn the crew into ribbons before they monstrously morph into skeletal, hungry corpses. Even when one pilot escapes the downed plane, his nightmarish ride is far from over. While this may be a quick pit stop into the historical for heavy metal, it's one that's sure to stay with you well after the credits roll. Number 9. Ghosts of War in the most recently released entry on this list, a group of American soldiers are tasked with defending a French manor until relief arrives. However, as strange supernatural occurrences start to plague the small squad, they realize they're in way over their head. Can they discover the true purpose of this house, or are they doomed to remain there for all eternity? Ghost of War has plenty of delightfully occult spookiness for most of its runtime. The ghostly happenings around the manor are pretty terrifying as they harass both the Allied and Axis forces who enter. The film also cleverly hides a sinister mystery into the nature of the soldier's mission. No spoilers here, but let's just say the ghosts might not be the only thing playing tricks on their minds. Number 8. The Devil's Rock Shoestring horror budgets can either go one of two ways, clever and artistically spooky, or schlocky and incredibly dull. Fortunately, The Devil's Rock is firmly in the former category. Set during D-Day, two New Zealand-born commandos infiltrate a German fort. Noticing the lack of not-dead guards and blood-spattered hallways, the two Kiwis realize their mission might not be as easy as first anticipated. Releasing over a decade ago, The Devil's Devil's Rock never found commercial success, but has gained a small cult following for good reason. It's more of a slow cranking of tension rather than a guns blazing horror action film, but this works quite well for a more dialogue focused narrative. While the in-depth discussions of the nature of evil fall flat at times, especially with an incredibly non-German sounding German, the rest of its tiny cast does an admirable job of carrying the plot to some pretty gruesome payoffs. The award-winning practical effects, nail-biting pacing, and creative use of enclosed locations are all great reasons to give The Devil's Rock a shot. Number 7. The Bunker Here's another case of a small budget being put to great use. The bunker follows a group of ambushed German soldiers who take shelter in an old bunker, which just happens to be the site of a massacre during the Black Plague. Obviously, this is not what you want to find in any respectable hideout, and matters only worsen when shadowy figures and haunting flashbacks begin to torment the soldiers. The bunker does a fantastic job of meshing the themes of war and horror together. We never quite get a pin on the exact core of the soldiers' slow descent as the dark hallways pick off each man one by one through both invisible forces and accidental circumstances. And despite its short runtime, the bunker does a really solid job painstakingly racking up the suspense, with each soldier's terror still palpable through the dimly lit location. Number 6. Blood Vessel 
Set at the end of World War II, a group of lost at sea survivors bumps into a daunting German minesweeper. With nowhere else to go, the passengers quickly board and soon find that two recently awoken vampires are causing havoc on the gory craft. Maybe empty ships floating in the middle of a war zone are abandoned for good reason? Just asking the question. Again, we have here a World War II horror film that expertly puts the audience on edge as the diverse group of survivors slowly piece together a mystery of Nazi treasure and drained corpses. The ship's dark passageways are put to good claustrophobic use, with terrifying scares lurking in every corner. Director Justin Dix has worked in Australian cinema for over 15 years now, predominantly as a special effects designer, so it's no wonder the creature designs and practical effects are Blood Vessel's crowning achievement. Also, not quite the same, but if you like the idea of vampires in a war story and are fond of comics, then you'll want to check out Baltimore by Hellboy creator Mike Mignola. Mignola obviously showed his skill and fondness for injecting horror into World War II with Hellboy, but Baltimore is a little bit different, taking place in World War I and leaning more into gothic horror than pulp. Vampire Plague, the war to end all wars, it's a winning combo, trust me. Number 5. The Keep The Keep is a bit of a tricky one. On the surface, it's the perfect concoction of atmospheric creepiness and intriguing narrative. Directed by a still early in his career Michael Mann, whose seminal big screen debut, Thief, had only released a couple years prior. Based on a New York Times bestseller, SS soldiers in a Romanian castle are viciously picked off by an unknown evil entity. Starring the likes of Ian McKellen, Bob Prosky, and Scott Glenn, it had the making of a genre classic. Yet, despite all these qualities, The Keep suffered from a blighted production. Originally meant to be 210 minutes long, Paramount cut the film down to 95 minutes, which ultimately diluted man's vision. In an additional sound development, visual effects developer Wally Vivas passed away during post-production, leaving the film crew scratching their heads about how the final climactic battle was actually meant to look. Unfortunately, this all contributed to The Keep bombing hard, but that hasn't stopped the dedicated cult following rising from its ashes. While the odds for a full re-release of Man's original three-hour cut are currently zero, The Keep still has plenty of redeeming qualities in its 90-minute state, including spectacularly spooky set design and hauntingly exquisite music thanks to German electronic music band Tangerine Dream, who also handled the scores for Thief and William Friedkin's Sorcerer. More than just one for man completionists, if you're a horror fan and have just been avoiding the keep due to its middling reputation, then it might be time to check it out. Number 4. Overlord it seems like defeating shapeshifting demons wasn't the only unearthly series of events happening on D-Day. In Julius Avery's Overlord, a group of soldiers was take down a radio jamming church tower to assist troops landing in Normandy. Entering the village nearby, the Allied soldiers realized Nazis have been experimenting on townspeople to create a secret weapon to win the war. Overlord's body horror and war tragedies go hand in hand. One minute, characters are breezily chatting about home, and and the next, they're vaporized by a landmine, or worse, brought back to life by an unnatural Nazi serum. The film's depictions of war crimes and Nazi experimentation are horrifying, which only makes us root for our admirably fleshed out protagonists all the more. Overlord doesn't need to sacrifice the action to create a bone-chilling threat either. Unapologetically grotesque, Overlord will make you jump and wince at its painful to watch scares. Number 3. Werewolf you don't need a supernatural or otherworldly threat to frighten audiences. Contrary to its name, Werewolf relies on no ethereal trickery to achieve blood-curdling terror. A group of orphan children from a concentration camp are liberated and brought to an old manor surrounded by forest. There, they live idyllically until the big bad wolves come knocking on their door as a pack of hungry ex-Nazi dogs circle the children's sanctuary. It's a sort of literal manifestation of the werewolf scheme the Nazis enacted prior to their defeat, which would have involved German units engaging in guerrilla warfare rather than surrender. And the premise speaks for itself. It's a terrifying ordeal. As the adults are picked off, the children have to face their fears ingrained into them through years of torturous imprisonment and fend for themselves. Every death is chilling, no matter whether it's just off screen or bloodily snapping in front of you. 
Werewolf triumphs at showcasing the camaraderie and rifts between the children. Hunger and thirst quickly set in, and it's unclear whether the orphans will band together or betray the group for their own gain. A must watch for those who like that horror film was with just a little more bite. Number 2. Below we embark on the watery seas yet again, but this time, let's submerge ourselves a little more. Co-written by the one and only Darren Aronofsky, Below focuses on an American submarine that picks up three survivors of a sunken British ship. Soon after, strange occurrences and accidents start to happen, as a sinister plot slowly boils to the surface. The immediate moral I'm sensing here, if you see British people at sea and you need to rescue them, don't. Don't do it. Just just save yourself. Despite one brief submarine battle, most of Below takes its time in revealing the supernatural goings on aboard the sub. Fortunately, this builds towards some extremely atmospheric and downright creepy hauntings of ghostly apparitions and mirror antics. The unnerving terror of supernatural forces is accompanied by an absorbing look into the captain's mysterious death and the circumstances leading to the survivor's ship actually sinking. The setting of the submarine is also well used to some pretty creative predicaments, as well as untimely, watery demises. If you're looking for a claustrophobic, horror come psychological thriller beneath the waves, then Below's your perfect candidate. And number one, The Others. Set at the end of World War II, Alejandro Amenabar's The Others revolves around Nicole Kidman as a wartime wife and mother living with her photosensitive children in a Jersey manor. As with any creepy manor in the middle of a foggy British nowhere, strange occurrences and other entities begin to disturb the small family. It's amazing how the expansive manor begins to feel so small and oppressive as Kidman's character becomes convinced that supernatural forces are hell-bent on causing her family harm. From the cinematography and location to the direction and screenplay, every element nails the genre and setting as the terrorized Kidman swiftly reaches her boiling point. The others proved to be a smash hit at the box office and even lapped up plenty of nominations, including a few BAFTAs. It should be mandatory viewing for any horror fan, and hey, if you fancy treating yourself, then a shiny new Criterion 4K release just last year. Go on, you deserve it. 